So hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Marcy J and today we're back with another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I revamped and reinstalled this beautiful frontal wig unit that I actually colored myself a couple of years back. So if you guys would like to see how I achieved this beautiful frontal wig installation, then make sure to continue watching. <music> So guys, let's jump into this video. So this is a very old unit. I've had this unit, I'd say, for about two years now. I customized it and colored it two years ago when I first initially started wearing this wig. So as you can see, it looks kind of dry and brittle. So I'm in the process of revamping this wig. So right now, currently, I'm just, you know, prepping it here for me to flat iron it making my parts, tweezing it. So right here, I'm just going in with the Garnier Fruities Shine Glossing Spray. It basically seals and moisturizes the hair for long lasting lustrous sheen. And it's also used as a heat protectant. So I typically like to use this product as a heat protectant. So let's jump into flat ironing this unit. So I typically like to use a comb to straighten the hair because I want my wigs to be as bone straight as possible. So if you're ever struggling with getting indentations out of your hair or the wave patterns out of your hair then you definitely want to make sure to use a comb So right here, I'm just flat ironing the pieces in the front that I'm going to use for my desired baby hairs. And right here, I'm going in with Murray's 100% Pure Australian Beeswax. It helps to mold the hairs down into place. So I typically use the beeswax when I don't have a wax stick available. So I ran out of my wax stick. So if that ever happens to you, you can always use Murray's Beeswax as a substitute. So after you go in with the wax stick or beeswax, you definitely want to take a hot comb and press through all the areas that you applied the wax. I only ever apply beeswax directly on the top of the wig, never throughout because it's definitely a heavy product. So I only like to apply it to my parts and the root itself. Also, guys, please don't mind my bearded mannequin. I've had this mannequin since I was in cosmetology school, and I've just always used it as a wig stand. But look at that hair, slayed, flat to the max. So jumping into the install, this is a traditional wig cap that I got from my local beauty supply store. I typically like to go in with two caps for a stronger hold underneath the wig. So now I'm going in with 99% rubbing alcohol just to clean up the perimeter of my edges. Now I'm going in with Derma Blend Foundation. You can use whatever foundation you desire. And I'm just melting that product into my cap so that it can blend perfectly with my skin. So now it's time to get this wig on. So here I'm just going in with the got to be glued blasting free spray. I'm just using this to lay the perimeter of my edges down. So when I go in with the adhesive, my edges will be out of the way. So I'm basically freezing my edges down. So 
so now i'm just tucking my edges away and you want to make sure that when you spray the got to be on your edges that it's dry it's completely dry so now i'm going in with the even wonder lace bond adhesive spray and guys let me tell y'all i love this stuff this is the extreme firm hold it's very fast drying it leaves no residue so this is why i prefer this over the got to be free spray because typically when you apply got to be it leaves like a white residue and i don't like that so even works wonders so if you don't have this spray make sure you get it so now i'm just going in with my pencil flat iron and i'm curling up the parts that i want to use for my baby hairs this is optional this is not something that you have to do but i find that it helps me mold my baby hairs down into place a lot better something i forgot to mention after i applied the adhesive you want to ensure that it's tacky and not completely dry before you place your wig directly onto it so right now i'm just pressing the lace into the adhesive spray So once again, just as I did previously, I'm just going in with the even adhesive spray on my sides so I can seal those sideburns down. The sideburns can be extremely difficult, especially when it comes down to adhering to the adhesive that you place. So you want to make sure that you manipulate your sideburns and you press it into the adhesive and hold until you feel like it's semi-dry and then that's when you can proceed with the next step. So now we want to tie those edges down. You can use either an edge wrap or you can use this wig band. You should let the band sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before you take it off. So now I'm just brushing those hairs in the front to get prepared to cut my baby hairs. So I'm just using a regular eyebrow razor. That razor was giving me a run for my money, so I decided to just go in with some shears. So I decided to go back in and pluck some more hair from the front just so that it can appear a little bit more natural. Now I'm going back in with that pencil flat iron that I used previously to curl my baby hairs. So curling your baby hairs is completely optional but I definitely do recommend it for anyone who does not know how to manually achieve the baby hair look. So if you struggle with achieving baby hairs, then you definitely want to go in with the pencil size flat iron, curl those baby hairs, and it'll definitely act as a guide to when you're forming your baby hairs. So now I'm going in with Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion, and this helps to form and position the baby hairs into place. Keep in mind that if you're not good at baby hairs, please don't get discouraged. Practice makes perfect, so just keep trying until you perfect it to your liking. So here I'm just combing down them front baby hairs because I felt like they were a little too long. So I decided to trim them a bit. So now I'm going in with some edge control. This is the RQLN Edge Control Water Base Pomade Stronghold. And this just helps to set and hold my baby hairs into place. Oh, 
also and by the way i got this edge brush from my local beauty supply store but you can also purchase it off of amazon Sideburns can be extremely tedious, so just take your time. So now I'm just cleaning up that excess product that dripped down on my face with some 99% rubbing alcohol. And now I'm going in with my edge wrap. Now time for the baby hair reveal. Ooh, them baby hairs are sleek. So because I tied my hair down and I pinned my hair up, there were a lot of indentations in my hair. So now I'm going back in with my beeswax as well as the got to be glued spray just to get ready to hot comb the front of my hair. So I usually like to spray got to be free spray in my hand and run it through the top of my hair just to get rid of flyaways. So now I'm going back in with my flat iron one last time to ensure that everything is seamlessly flat. So here I'm just going back in with the Dermablend foundation that I used previously to create a more visible part. So this is the finished product guys. I hope you like it. I'm so in love with this wig. I think it came out so bomb. So that officially concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me slay this frontal unit that I'm currently rocking. I hope you guys like what you saw. Make sure to comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Also comment down below and let me know how I did on this installation. I think I did a pretty good job if I do say so myself. Also, don't forget to share this video with your family. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday. Ciao.